to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I would love to invite you to join my channel by subscribing. I upload new videos every single week. I am a lifestyle channel, so if that's something that you're interested in, please click that subscribe button. Today we are going to tackle how to clean a jet tub. If you've got a tub like ours, then I think you will find these tips really helpful because basically you do very minimum to clean it and the tub actually does the most of it for you. So without talking any further, let me just go ahead and take you in there and I'll show you what we're going to do. So here we are in the bathroom and here is everything you're going to need minus an old rag. I forgot to include the rag in the picture. start with the two tablespoons of low foaming dishwasher detergent and I like to use the Cascade brand just because that was what was recommended by our manufacturer however you can use really any low foaming powder dishwashing soap as far as I know so go ahead and fill up your tub with very hot water I just turn only the hot water on and let that fill up just a few inches and then go ahead and shut it off now I'm going to take my rag and I'm going to use it to go ahead and scrub out the bottom of the tub while the water is low. And not only the bottom, but I'll go ahead and get all around the sides of the tub. I'll go ahead and clean the spout and drain and everything else around it. Honestly, I this is the only part you really have to work at. So I go ahead and just clean in and around the tub. And it is important to do this step now. and not after you add the bleach, which we'll do later. You do not want to be working over the tub when you have bleach and hot water rising out of the tub. I did this once and trust me, you don't want to do it. It is very dangerous. Now I take a dry rake and go ahead and dry off the metal pieces and of course around the tub just to give it a little bit of a shine. And this is really all that's required of you. Now you're about to just start it up and be able to sit back and relax. Now turn the water back on as hot as it'll go and let it continue to fill up. Then you wanna let it fill up to at least about two inches above the highest jet before you turn on the jets. Now it's a little hard to tell from looking above, but it was two inches above the highest jet, so it's time to go ahead and turn on the jets. There they go. Now that the jets are on, I go ahead and add the half a cup of household bleach so that I can now leave the room and let the tub do the work for me. Now it is nice and full, the jets are going, the bleach is in, now it's time for you to sit back and relax in another room because the tub is now going to do the cleaning for you. Let that go for about 15 minutes and then you're ready for the next step. it has been 15 minutes we're back here with the tub and we can go ahead and shut everything down starting with turning off the jets and then draining the water <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if the bathtub really drained this fast if only we could fast forward that in real life all right, now that it's fully drained, we're gonna go ahead and do the opposite by turning on the cold water only and going ahead and plugging up the tub and letting that fill up as high as it was before. Again, you can leave the room or do whatever you want, just don't let it overflow. Oh, and if only bathtubs would fill up that fast. All 
right, we are full and time to turn off the water and turn on the jets. Now this is the rinse cycle and the tub again is gonna do it all for you. So you just let that swish around and rinse for another 15 minutes and go relax and watch some YouTube or start dinner or whatever you need to do and let the tub work for you. Alright, we are 15 minutes later. I have shut off the jets and now I am draining the cold rinse water out of the tub. Now the last thing I like to do is go ahead and take either a rag or a paper towel and just wipe out the very bottom of the tub because sometimes since it did clean out all of the jets it can leave some traces behind. This is so easy I honestly don't know why sometimes I put off cleaning the tub when it is this easy because every time I do I am always surprised by how easy it is. So I hope you did enjoy this video and got some good tips from it. And as always, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in just a few more days in my very next video. I hope you all have a great day. Until then, bye-bye.